Let's science this. I'm on it. Come discover the world around us. Yeah. We'll observe nature's wonders. <laughs> Using science and imagination. We'll experiment and build creation. What are you reading? A book about famous scientists. It's very interesting. Whoa, I love her outfit. Look at all the pockets. I love her shell collection. She found them exploring the world. I'd love to go on expeditions like her. What's an expedition? <laughs> Not expedition, expedition. It's a trip where you collect natural things that are called specimens. And you observe them. You just look at them? No, more than that. You make measurements and draw pictures and ask questions. Lots and lots of questions. But that's what you do every day, Darwin. <laughs> You're right, Newts. It's expedition time. <laughs> Notebook. Check. Binoculars? Check. Magnifying glass? Check. And I made the super strong specimen holder. Great work, Newts. Now, where should we start our. Fantails! Look! Tetero! An egg is hatching. Oh! I can see the chick. <laughs> He's so wrinkly. <laughs> he doesn't have any feathers yet. Look how long his neck is. Careful, Newts. The mama bird might feed you some insects too. <gasps> A specimen. Let's collect it. And drawing number one, Tahi. Done! Our expedition is off to a great start! <laughs> Another eggshell! Shall? There must be a nest here somewhere. Now you're thinking like a scientist, Newts. <laughs> Tui, look, Darwin. Good work, Newts. These chicks already have feathers. Yes, they look nice and warm. Drawing number two, Rua. Done. Tui shell, specimen number two. Rua, collected. Let's keep searching. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oops. Careful, you guys. Sorry, Henny. Kia ora. We didn't see you there. What are you doing? I'm watching these Pukikos. Oh, look at that little one. She can't get out of the nest. Let's help! Wow! Pukikos don't fly much, but they sure can run fast. It must be their long legs. Another shell! How the 
Those long legs fit inside this. They must fold them up. Pukeko eggshell, specimen number three. Toru, collected. Pukeko drawing number three. Toru, underway. Hey, what's that? Wow. egg. And a big Pukeko chick came from the big egg. That means the ginormous egg must belong to a ginormous bird. <gasps> Let's find it. Hmm. <laughs> we look everywhere. There's no ginormous bird around here. It would be hard for something that big to hide. Oh, I really wanted to see it. Me too. And draw it. Draw it? Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Enormous bird, we can imagine it. I gave it a long neck like the fantail, snuggly warm feathers like the tui, and long, long legs like the pukeko. A combination of all our findings. What a great idea! Wait, you haven't seen the best part. <sighs> Almost. That's it. Yeah. Amazing! It is amazing! It also reminds me of something. Whoa! A moor! That's it! A moor! Kyoto Wapiti! It's not real! Newt's made it because we couldn't find the bird that laid this ginormous egg. <laughs> you tricked me, Newt! I thought it was a real moor. What's a moor? It's a gigantic bird that used to live in New Zealand and could have come out of this eggshell. Oh, a moor egg. You found a moor egg. This is an important scientific discovery. Moa have been extinct for 500 years. Moa were very large birds. We only know about them from finding bones and eggshells. So this could be a Moa eggshell. A real Moa eggshell? That's what I'm thinking. Me Hello! Awesome! So, how can we be sure it's a moa egg? Let's take a photo and send it to the museum. Great idea. A moa egg is rare and precious, and we shouldn't move it. Titiro, look! It's a letter from the museum. Quick, Darwin, open it. <gasps> what does it say? It says we 
did find a real more egg. The museum is going to put it on display. And they gave us this certificate. We are now official museum scientists. All because of your brilliant expedition. No, Henny. Expedition. 